On today's show, Volvo Trucks develops an autonomous garbage truck. Volvo Cars says it may give up on diesel engines and the first car that was ever stopped for speeding. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show that's researched, written, and produced for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Ford officially commented on news reports that it's going to reduce salary headcount in North America and Asia. It expects 1,400 managers to take early retirement and special separation packages by the end of September. But it will not cut jobs in product development, plant manufacturing, IT, global data and analytics, or at its captive finance company, Ford Credit. It also says it will transform underperforming units in its core business. Some new reports suggest it could abandon the market in India and cut back on developing passenger cars as the global market migrates to CUVs. Ford says the full details of its cost-cutting plans will be announced in early June. Regulators in Europe have been on the red alert ever since Volkswagen admitted it rigged its diesel cars with emission cheating software. Now the EU is starting legal action against Italy for not taking proper action over allegations of emission cheating by FCA. It all started when Germany accused FCA of using defeat devices in the Fiat 500X, Fiat Doblo, and the Jeep Renegade. And now the EU says Italy didn't do enough to prove that the devices were justified. However, Italy's transport minister claims the approval process was done correctly and that it didn't find any evidence of illegal devices. Italy has two months to respond to the EU and could end up in court if the EU isn't happy with its response. And all of this diesel controversy is making Volvo wonder if the engine is still worth the trouble. The company's CEO, Hakan Samuelson, says that the new generation of its diesel engines could be its last. He says production of its diesels will likely continue until 2023, but since future regulations will add more cost to the engines, the company will instead focus on electrified powertrains. Automakers have made amazing progress in making cars safer, and we'll show you a great example of that right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. The average age of a vehicle in the U.S. is over 11 years old, and they just don't hold up to today's crop of new cars safety-wise. In New Zealand, more than half of the fatal accidents are in vehicles built before the year 2000. To highlight just how far we've come, The country's New Car Assessment Program, or NCAP, crashed a 1998 Toyota Corolla into a 2015 Corolla, and the results are rather shocking. The old one folds up like an accordion. The engine compartment and front wheel are pushed all the way back and up into the passenger cabin. The roof even crumples up, and the driver gets compressed between the seat and dashboard. Just to drive the point home, There's a total of 16 possible points to earn in the crash test. The 98 Corolla earned 0.4 points, while the 2015 was just shy of 13 out of 16. And speaking of automotive safety, Ward's Auto reports that the very first car to get a speeding ticket will be at this year's UK Concours of Elegance. The driver of this 1896 Benz, Walter Arnold, was going a mere 13 kilometers an hour, or 8 miles per hour, when he was chased down by a policeman on a bicycle. In those days, the speed limit was 2 miles per hour, and you had to have someone walking in front of the car waving a red flag. Arnold was found guilty of speeding and had to pay the equivalent of about $7 for his transgressions. Coming up next, take out the papers and the trash. That garbage truck coming down the road? could be autonomous. At Bridgestone, our engineers want to help make sure you're not stuck on the side of the road. Our revolutionary drive guard tires are engineered to take a puncture and drive up to 50 miles. Ready to go. Watch our latest Archer demo at BridgestoneTire.com. 
Hey, did you see last week's Autoline After Hours with Floyd Y Select? He's the 92-year-old engineer who developed the world's first fuel cell car, the GM Electrovan. Floyd shared amazing insights as to how they had to go about developing it. And you know what? That show represents the unique kind of programming Autoline After Hours offers. So join us this Thursday when our special guest will be Steve Kasowski, who heads up strategic and business intelligence for Kia Motors America. He'll take us on a deep dive into the new Kia Nero, the first purpose-built hybrid from Kia, which is quite different from the other hybrids out there. We'll go live with that show at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Volvo Trucks has teamed up with Swedish waste management company, Renova, to test an autonomous garbage truck. Its route is pre-programmed, but it's able to stop automatically if it detects an object in its path, and it can maneuver around cars parked on the road automatically. And since the truck can drive itself, the trash collector can walk alongside of the vehicle, so he or she doesn't have to keep jumping in and out of the truck at each stop. The two companies will continue to test the truck until the end of the year. That brings us to the end of today's show. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.